Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We're filling up the trailer with cow manure. So I can bring that over the processing plant. I want to try to redeem myself with the fuel today. So I'm going to try to get all the manure out as I can. We had about 20,000 liters in here. But I've been having an issue of being able to pick it all up off this floor. So we'll just get what we can. Probably like a conveyor belt would get it all out. But some of this is just going to the floor and that's not enough to even bother. So I'm just going to dump that right out there. So we're in the second day of spring. As you can see, the snow's all gone. Excuse me, the snow's all gone. You can actually see the trees got leaves on them already. I didn't expect that until day three. But it is what it is. It looks nice. That's all I got to say. <laughs> And uh, we also got to go up and uh, give the sheep some grass today as well. Unfortunately, even though quote unquote springs here and it looks like there's grass in the pasture, it shows none in the pasture when you go in there. So we'll give that just a little bit more time. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, grass will start growing sometime today before we get there. But first things first, I'm going to bring this manure over to the processing plant and get that started to make some fuel. And by the end of the episode, I'll see if I can fix I went back and watched the replay and I saw what, I kind of figured out what buttons I hit. I'm like, okay, so yeah, don't, don't hit automatic emptying on. That's not a good thing. So I'll see if I can figure that out. Uh, get in cab again because you know driving around this map out of cab the trees will just drive you crazy Also need to go back up with a logging truck into our field where I cut down some trees and Pick those up before The end of the season comes and I don't pick them up and they're in the field and I go to harvest it. That would be very interesting I'm sure the harvester would not like that at all. And the sheep are back to making wool again as well. And I'm sure they're... Actually, it should be their mating seasons. Reproduction should be going on. We had 70 sheep. Well, we have 70 sheep. Open up. Thank you. And also while we're here, we're going to grab the uh, what we got for artificial fertilizer and bring that up to the farm. Am I backing up too far? All right. <laughs> I was watching the bottom right hand corner for the indicator that I was uh, I was there. There it is. So let's hope I don't screw it up this time with the fuel. Because now we have no fuel up at the uh, at the farm itself. I didn't even check to see how much artificial fertilizer we got. But that is actually quite a bit for what we need. But we'll fill it up with what we got. Never hurts to have it. Back in cab. And we'll head up to the farm. We'll unload this into our storage. We'll grab the logging trailer. We'll get this up to the field that we need to pick up the logs in. And then i got to bring the John Deere up for a couple of reasons. One, we got to feed the sheep some grass. I don't want any sheep dying on me. Their health is doing very well. It's up to 95%, I believe. So I don't want to run out of grass. I mean, we should, it's not like we got like five minutes for the run on the grass. I mean, we got plenty of time, but it's something that we need to do today. The attorney fella. Thank you. Our cows are doing just fine as well. The 
the chicken should be doing fine, but I want to check on them just to make sure. Because unfortunately the chickens don't show up on the glance mod in the upper left hand corner. Like you can see the sheep. It shows the sheep grass is 5% and the cow's health is 82%. And both those are up there because they don't have grass. And I had no grass to give them. The sheep can take grass slash hay, that's what they need, not just grass, but that's what Lance Smod is showing. It is nice having this Volvo truck though, when you bring load just the trailer up, instead of just doing like 12 miles an hour, the John Deere, that's what John Deere would do, just 12 miles an hour with an empty trailer. Well, I got everything just everywhere don't I all right no problem uh, so let's move the tanker we'll be using that later on today hopefully like I said I don't screw that up again logging trailer we're going to use shortly but for now you just need to be moved that's good right there and at some point probably when we probably when we sell the uh, the wool we'll be looking at buying a seed drill and possibly a bigger tractor because we're going to need a bigger tractor to power the seed roll, obviously. Now just keep in mind that the storage total won't go up for a little bit. It takes a while to register, kind of like the animals do when you, when you feed them. It takes a few minutes to register. Now we don't have any more seed in storage that we can sell. I mean, I got stuff in storage, but I got to keep some food for the chickens and whatnot. There we go. Now it's registering 7,000 liters of artificial fertilizer. Actually, since I'm going right past here, I want to wash this truck off a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I want to wash it off completely. I'll probably spray up the, the, you know, the, what was it, 4,000 liters of fuel I dumped on the ground here yesterday, <laughs> so. <laughs> One thing I, I didn't know, I don't know if this has changed or it's part of the mob, but the, when it rains, the, this Volvo doesn't clean itself. There, that fuel should be, right, oh, that fuel probably went down the runoff there. Uh, that's self-contained, don't worry, that didn't go in the environment, I promise. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's grab the Volvo. Uh, better get back in cab or else it's going to be terrible driving up through these trees. Then once we get in the field, maybe I can uh, see these limbs better. Actually, the crops are growing better than I thought they would. Alright, so we'll be on left side. Start auto load. Let's see if it picks up any of these limbs today. Uh, it wants to pick up that one, just won't land in there. Alright, so we'll just park that right about here for now. Where are, where is that thing at here? There we go. There's that one. There's that. Nope. Alright. Where are you? Bugging out, man.
There we go. Alright. So there's that tree right there. I think that's the only two we did, alright? For now. Seems like it. Oh, we're in, perfect. First one we go to is right to the John Deere. So I'm gonna drive the John Deere up. This is gonna take a little bit longer because the John Deere is just a little bit slower. We'll feed the uh, sheep just to make sure we don't need to be slowing down production or anything like that. It's just a bale of hay. We can make some more. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll check on the chickens and then we'll start loading up some of these limbs and clear out that field. And then maybe by then the production of fuel will be ready to go. So I'll see you in a second. All right, let's give these sheep some grass. And it should be the last time we have to feed them until at least winter. Unless we start getting more sheep than what the pasture can handle. Never been good at doing this blind. Can't tell if I have it or not. Kind of do. Let me just make sure the pasture in the past few minutes. Grass and sheep pasture, zero liters, even though it's starting to show like it's starting to grow. But this will hold them over until it does. All right, sheep are all set. I'm taking a weird journey out of here, that's for sure. Now what I need to do is come over here. We'll drop off the bale spike. Pick up the log grab. And I don't believe I need the weight. I know what else I want, but I don't know. I must be left over in this shed. The stump grinder is what else I need. Get rid of some stumps. And little by little, we'll make that four fields into one. At some point, we shall. But yeah, we need about 100 grand for the new seed drill. It's not really needed yet this year. The two fields we got to seed, we can hire a worker with that 3 meter seed drill. Oh, thrilling, 3 meter. But if we get the bigger seed drill, we're going to need a bigger tractor. No bones about that. Alright, uh, nope, I gotta change the tool that I'm on, that'd be great. Uh, so it goes like this. Nope, I was trying to, this is what I wanted to do. Uh, this way, please. All for these little things. Oh, it looks like the rain's going to start. How wonderful. I can't believe I lined up perfectly with one of those studs. Uh, which way? This way. Really, that's not going to fall out? Thank you. So this might be painful. I might cut this out. I may leave it in. Who knows? We'll see how this goes. I don't have that much to pick up. Thank God. Uh, the auto-loading trailer picked up most of it. Oh, that's why I probably wouldn't pick up that one.
the one thing I was shocked about, uh, well, not, maybe not shocked, but uh, in FS19, I didn't see anything about Seasons mod kind of like being an option. So hopefully when FS19 comes out in about four months, uh, that mod can be uh, moved over to FS19. I'm pretty sure most of the community would love that. Me being one of them. So many things new in FS19 to, to look forward to. Kind of for us, uh, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, November 20th is a good time. Winter will be coming. We'll have plenty of time inside. <laughs> uh, this way here. And it didn't pick it up. Hmm. This may be one I have to, uh... need to get too aggressive here. But I hope this has improved this a little bit as well. <laughs> um, it's, it's on there. Strap those babies on, will you? <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll move the truck up some. I should I take that off? That will stay there. Uh, start auto load left side. Now that I cleared some of those limbs off. Easy with a throttle there, Chief. I don't want to be knocking more stuff off. It's actually picking some up, but they're falling right back out in some areas. Like that one glitching on top. All right, we're gonna leave that there. <laughs> oh man, this is messy. But it needs to be done. Okay, now I gotta change this. Oh, I saw you, there we go. Well, isn't that interesting? Am I really going to have a floating... It's not like it doesn't know it's there. So like always, this was a blast. <laughs> oh man, these limbs. These trees. Do not cut them up if you don't have to, or if you got a mod that really knows how to pick up these things, that's great. If not, wow, what a pain. Why aren't you falling out of there? Really? Uh, why are you stuck? Alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. These trees. How many more trees do I got to do? Too many. Uh, one more of these trees at least. And I think more on the other side. Uh, let me close that up here just a little bit. Yes, yeah, so we got one more tree there. These other trees aren't as bad. Oh man, I got what? Three more trees. So we four in total of those kind of trees. Ah. <sighs> The, the auto loading trailer will load some of them up. The problem is when these limbs fall down, if there's like a branch with leaves on it sticking through the ground that you can't see, it's a real pain in the butt. Alright, we're, we're done with the, the John Deere logging exhibition for today.
We're just gonna bold right out here in traffic. We don't care anymore. That took way too long for what I had to do. But I kinda knew it would take a while. Okay, yep, we'll throw this in here. I'll probably throw the uh, the stump cutter as well in here. Uh, make sure I'm on the right tool selection. Really. It's actually hitting the foundation of the shed. Interesting. Good enough. Good enough. Always good to have that on. Alright, we'll leave the John Deere here. I'm hoping I got all the limbs. If not, we'll find out in the fall when it's time to harvest. And we're going to go sell these now because, well, it's a flipping mess. So I'll see, I'll see you down at the sell point in a quick second. All the automatic windshield wipers are on. Cool. Meh. <laughs> And here we are. Don't expect too much money from this uh, left side. And unload is this button here. And we do have a couple limbs that uh, bounced out everywhere. These I can pick up. Ooh, 29 bucks. Too heavy, really. Well, I'm not getting much for them anyway, so. Ah, all the extra change. Now, the one thing I have noticed about this map, there is no sawmill. Even though it looks like you're at one. I mean, it looks like the sawmill, just that there is no, it's not the active one, if that makes sense. If it is, then I don't know how to turn it on. I assume that's where I sell wood chips. But there's no panel anywhere for milk. Wait, 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 wait. We got milk. Not, not that much, but thirty-nine thousand liters of it. Ta, ta, da! For twelve hours. All right, I just speed up time to try to get the rain to stop, but it's been raining all day. Uh, but right now we got to slow that time down. We cannot miss that deal. Uh, no extra limbs is bounce around. Nope. All right, so I'm going to bring the logging trailer back up. <laughs> We're going to grab our dirty tanker. I'll quote unquote pressure wash it. And uh, we got to fill up with some milk and uh, yeah, we're going to get somewhere probably around 35 grand for that. All right, we gave our tanker a good wash. I mean, last thing I had in it was diesel fuel, so... Now we're going to put some milk into it. Not quite realistic, but hey, you know, we need the cash. There's a great demand for milk. Cows are low on power food, apparently. Wish this rain would stop. It's been raining pretty much all day. Hopefully no cars are coming up because going down with a truck and a tanker at the wide corner down here 
can be a little uh, tight. Now, if it really comes to where we need money, obviously logging is something we could easily do. I can get like 60 grand per trailer. There's plenty of trees up there to get probably a couple hundred grand, no problem. Also, I don't know if you heard quickly, I went kind of past the uh, cow's pond in their pasture, but you can hear the frogs, the pond is unthawed. And once again, I took the corner too tight. Yeah, you can see the pond is unthawed. All right, we're gonna come over here. Uh, well, it was open. Yeah, I see I had to open the trailer to wash out the inside. And hopefully by doing this, there we go, farm fresh milk. So like I said, we got just under 40,000 liters of milk. And I do believe these tankers hold 70. Alright, tanker's all closed up. We're going to Supreme Dairy, which I do believe is way back up on top. Up here where it says Milk Sales and Supreme Dairy. Now, alright, so the other only place we can sell it is Sunrise Bakery. There's two points there, but Sunrise Bakery is down here. There's also one that says Milk Sales. I don't know if that's a placeable trigger. Maybe. But there's what the tanker looks like when it's got milk in it. Anything on the back? Just a cow with a sign that says milk. I gotta learn to keep that uh, that mini map off when I don't really need it. So let's take this up and get somewhere close to 35 grand, I would say. After we run into the fence. I saw it there. I promise. I'll also be interested to see how well this Volvo does going up that hill with 39,000 liters of milk in the back. This I was not expecting to do today. I was kind of hoping maybe do some fertilization on the fields that we have already planted. That's why I brought the artificial fertilizer up to the farm. But, you know, things change. We got plenty of time to fertilize them. It's not going to take us long to fertilize the fields. That's for sure. And at some point, slowly but surely this season, I'll take down those trees probably off cam because those trees, four trees, will be a pain. The other trees, I don't think are going to be as bad. I think the auto-loading trail will pick those up no problem. And she's losing some speed going uphill, but you got to expect that. This weather has been crap all day. All day. 
Now the shortest way up here is kind of up through this little passway through the sheep area. Going around isn't that bad, but looks like we snuck in no problem. No traffic on this road though. Up to the pig farm. Uh, I believe I gotta go left. Should be where those two silos are, somewhere there. Uh, right? Correct? Supreme Dairy Milk Sales. I've seen it, I just don't remember quite where it is. I'm thinking right here. Okay, can I flip this sucker around in this parking lot? Oh yeah, plenty of room in here. Kind of. Alright, now I gotta figure out this emptying thing. <sighs> so if we open this up. It says milk delivery. I'm not getting a trigger. Okay, I just wasn't back up far enough? Interesting. So I don't know where the trigger is for that. Unless it's right where those four nozzles are. But I did have to back up quite a ways to get that to trigger. I have to get used to these uh, tankers, obviously. Ah, it's nice to see the money go up again. Now I said somewhere around 35. Let's see how close I'm at with my math today. 36.3. We'll take that. And that's with 10 cows in one season that were not fully healthy. And now with our cows... At 70%, right, and we got 20 of them, right, 20? We've already got five sheep this spring? Holy crap. All right, so, let's uh, see, now I kind of changed my whole train of thought what I was doing today, but we're going to bring this tanker and truck back to the farm. I don't think I really need the tanker up here. Oh, no, I know what I was going to do next. So, I'm off to go get some fuel down at the bioprocessing plant. So, I'll meet you down there and see if I can do it right this time, and we'll end the episode. So, I'll see when we get down to the bi uh, bioprocessing plant. We'll fill this up, see how much fuel we got from that uh, load of manure we brought down. Alright, here we are again. Open that up. 
while I'm circling around to the fuel tank. Filling up, not a problem. I got that down pat. Not a great deal of fuel, but it's more than enough fuel than what we probably need right now. And we'll get more during the season. Now that we got 20 cows, they'll produce more manure and liquid manure for us. The other thing I got to put down is uh, like a fuel uh, sale trigger at a gas station. I do have that mod already installed, so it's just a matter of putting it down the gas station because we're going to probably produce more gas than what we'll ever need for a while, so we can sell gas as well. And you get a pretty decent amount for fuel. Now, there won't be like great demands and stuff like that for it. But when you have extra storage of gas and you need a good quick a tanker like this, I could probably get somewhere a full tanker like 140 grand for a full tanker. I'm just going by the prices I was getting before in my other map. I had a uh, 37,000 liter tank, and I would get like double. The, basically, it was double the liters, so it was probably. I'd get like uh, 70 grand somewhere in there. It, it would vary a little bit. I don't know where I was getting this pricing from. But yeah, I was getting a decent amount of money for it. But it looks like we're going to end the episode just at, at uh, dusk here. While it's still raining, even though the sun's out. Uh, but now let's see if I can get this to actually work up here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Do I get an unload trigger anywhere? I do not. I shouldn't have to open that. Fuel start? I don't think I got that before. Oh, man. It's dumping fuel, but not into the storage. Unless it's going to take a while to show up again. Heck with it. Speed up time here. Alright, it went in. Alright, so... So I don't need the hatch open. So it looks like the triggers are... Where the pipes are out the bottom. Just have to keep that in mind. But at least I got some fuel up here now. I kind of figured it out. I think, I think the rain stopped, which is nice. Uh, so much things to move. Let's go park the John Deere up. Put that away for the night. Run back up to the truck. Uh, so that I need to bring back down to the cows because they're going to need power food. But they might be good enough for the night. So that might be something we can do in the next episode. So let's actually just turn this off, turn that off. Turn on this HUD here. A couple things we need to check. So no grass for the sheep yet in the pasture, but they, they should be fine for a couple days until this grass actually kicks in. I'm also hoping in the next day or so we get a great demand for this. What's actually the price of that going for? Uh, this way. Not that good right now, but the price is going up. 
and just to make sure we go here wool yeah the next couple of days should be the highest now this is what the prices were last season so you get a rough idea of where to sell it so in a couple days that's where we need it to be here we are today milk stays pretty steady but we had a high demand today so that's what we're looking for for the wool and uh, now with more sheep they're producing more wool I think this is gonna hold The way it's set up, it should hold eight pallets. I don't think it's going to get a third row in here. It might. I don't know. But it doesn't look like there's enough room for it. But eight pallets is a pretty good storage. I know there's a placeable storage you can buy that can store your wool. We don't have that many sheep yet. Uh, so the chickens, they're doing fine. So already in a couple days, we're up to 190 eggs. We are on day two of the season, and we just sold, uh, what we sell, like 400 and some odd eggs, and we got four grand. So base, it's almost, for every th 100 eggs, you get a 1,000. So we almost got $2,000 worth of eggs sitting here already. Thank you for the kids that pick them up and, and place them in here as well. I don't know if there's a max storage for that at all either, but we'll get some money off of that at the end of the year because then next year what we're going to do is put straw in there and the chickens are going to breed and we're going to see how many chickens we get now as far as I know you don't have to feed them you just got to put straw in there for them to breed but either way whatever but uh, that's going to do it for today guys hopefully you enjoyed the episode I appreciate you watching as always and I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest but until then have a good one.